You're watching LMCC. We're a nonprofit visual arts educational organization. A mainstay in our program and a very popular part of our mission is the gallery. We try to make this gallery available to other arts organizations on a, on a regular rotating basis, but our association with the Watercolor Society is our, our longest standing collaboration. The Minnesota Watercolor Society started out as a Twin Cities Watercolor Society in 1982, and in 1989, I think it was, they changed the name to the Minnesota Watercolor Society. The Watercolor Society is a really good model for a collaboration with another group because their members are very vested in their show and they run the event beautifully. They bring in strong work, they attract strong crowds to come see the work, and it's always a pleasure to work with them. The show coming up this spring is called Spring Forth because we wanted it to represent coming out of this COVID hibernation that we're in right now and just celebrating life and spring and art and getting back to normal. Spring is my favorite time of year when we pass through the darkness of winter and it feels like a rebirth for the Art Center with the spring theme that this show brings I think is especially sweet at this particular time. Feels like we're getting back to normal as we relaunch some of these recurring exhibits that we've been pleased to present over the years and this feels like another piece of that. And besides, walking into a gallery full of watercolor paintings in the spring just feels really good. The show is free and open to the public and we hope everybody can come and see it because it's going to be beautiful. We're going to have our Zoom opening on Monday, April 25th at 6.30 and we will post the link on our website. Our juror Richard will be presenting all of his awards. We have 10 awards he will give out and then we have a People's Choice Award that once you are here in the gallery, mm -hmm. we want to encourage people to vote for that one, their favorite. They're just really beautiful, colorful, emotional, quiet, reflective pieces that I think you will probably find one, at least one, that you really identify with in the show. They always bring to us an amazing amount of really high quality work. Their membership is just extremely talented. I just kind of paint all the time, and then I chose my favorite ones to submit. I'm yeah, always kind of painting. what I did as well, yeah. I submitted both of these. This one is actually my favorite, and it was inspired by new windows that we had put in during COVID. I love to draw over my paintings when they're dry with pens, and it's a very meditative process and calms me down. So it's been really kind of fun, helpful thing for me to do during COVID. I'm very inspired by nature. So I just, I love to paint nature and its expression. This one here, Trinity Trees, is a pure watercolor on paper. So this is representation of new life, of spring, the flowers and, and just rebirth. And so this one I entered in the show. It really is a fulfillment of a dream, a lifelong dream to see my piece in a gallery like this. It's just, there's something that really touches me inside and I get a little bit emotional about it because it's just my passion. Yeah, this gallery especially is wonderful. It's a pretty amazing venue here. I encourage everybody to come out and see it and really get a feel for the artists of the Twin Cities. It's a down-to-earth feeling where there's a real connection with local artists showing their work and I think that's really important. It gives the art the space and the room and the light that it needs to really communicate. I think you really see the art as it was hoped by its creator to see.